Welcome back to SSB Simplified, the one-stop destination for all your SSB interview preparation. Today, we are going to cover an important lecture topic that has frequently been asked in SSB interviews. Today, I am going to explain the Make in India initiative in detail. For better understanding, I have divided the topic into different subparts. Before we move ahead, I request you all to subscribe to the channel and watch the other videos so that you are very well prepared for your SSB interview. Now introduction to Make in India. Today we are here to talk about a revolutionary initiative that has been transforming the Indian economy, Make in India. The initiative was launched by our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi in 2014 with the aim of making India a global manufacturing hub. Make in India is not just a slogan but a vision that aims to transform India into a self-reliant nation. It is a call to all entrepreneurs, innovators and investors to come and invest in India, manufacture in India and then sell globally. So let us dive deep, deeper into the concept of Make in India and explore its significance in the Indian economy. The Make in India initiative was launched in September of 2014 with the aim of transforming India into a global manufacturing hub. The initiative seeks to en encourage both domestic and foreign companies to manufacturing their products in India, thereby boosting the country's economy. One of the main reasons behind the launch of Make in India is to create employment opportunities for the country's growing population. With over 1.3 billion people, India has a large workforce that needs to be employed productively. By attracting investments in various sectors, making it India aims to create millions of jobs for the country's youth. Now sectors under Make in India. Making India initiative focuses on promoting growth and development in various sectors of the Indian economy. One of the key sectors in manufacturing, which accounts for a very significant portion of India's GDP. The initiative aims to increase the share of manufacturing in the GDP from current 16% to 25% by year 2025. Some of the successful companies in this sector include Tata Motors, Mahindra and & Mahindra and Bharat Forge. Another important sector under the Making India initiative is the automobile industry, which has seen tremendous growth in the recent years. Companies like Maruti Suzuki, Hero Motocorp and Bajaj Auto has established themselves as a major player in the global market. The initiative aims to make India a hub for automobile manufacturing and export. Now the textile is another sector that comes under the Make in India initiative. India has a rich tradition of textile production and initiative aims to leverage this strength to boost exports. Companies like Arvind Mills, Raymond and Wellspin India are some of the success stories in this sector. Now let us look towards the benefits of Making India. Make in India has been successful in creating new job opportunities for the Indian workforce. The initiative aims to increase the share of manufacturing in India GDP by 25% by the year 2025, which will create more than 100 million jobs in the country. The initiative has also attracted foreign investments in India, receiving $81.72 billion in FDI between April of 2000 and June of 2021. This has not only boosted the Indian economy, but has also helped in the transfer of technology skills from foreign companies to Indian workers, leading to a more skilled workforce. Now let us discuss the challenges faced by Make in India. One of the biggest challenges faced by Make in India is the bureaucratic hurdles like companies have to navigate. The process of obtaining permits and licenses can be time consuming and complicated, leading to delays and increased costs for businesses. To address this issue, the government has launched several initiatives to streamline the process and make it easier for companies to do business in India. Another challenge is the lack of infrastructure, particularly in rural areas. This can make it difficult for companies to transport goods and access raw materials, which can increase cost and reduce efficiency. To overcome this challenge, the government has launched several infrastructure projects such as the Bharat Mala Pariyojana which can aims to provide road connectivity throughout the country. Now let us know some dis different biggest success stories of Make in India. One of them is Mahindra Electric. 
the company which started as a joint venture with Reva Electric in 2001 has become a leading manufacturer of electric vehicles in India. In fact, Mahindra Electric is the only Indian company to have successfully developed a electric car from scratch. The company's commitment to innovation and sustainability has made it a poster child for make in India. Another story is Tata Motors, the company which has been manufacturing cars in India since the early 1950s has embraced Make in India initiative by increasing the investment in local production. As a result, Tata Motors has also been able to reduce costs and improve efficiency while also creating more job opportunities for the locals. Today, Tata Motors is one of the largest automobile manufacturers in India and a shining example to the benefits for Make in India. Now, in conclusion, Make in India is a crucial initiative that aims to boost the India's economy by promoting local manufacturing and attracting foreign investment. We have seen how this initiative has already made a positive impact in various sectors such as automobiles, textile and electronics. The benefits of this initiative are numerous, including job creation, increased GDP and reduced dependence on imports. While there are challenges that needs to be addressed, such as the bureaucratic hurdles and skill shortages, the government has taken steps to overcome them. With continued efforts and support from various stakeholders, we can, accept make, we can expect Make in India to drive the growth of Indian economy for years to come. Thank you. Lastly, thank you for watching and if you learned something new, like the videos and make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss relevant updates. Also, check out our other videos and feel free to comment down any suggestions on how we can improve our content.